What's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a video showing you some of the new features to iOS 7, the final released version that was just released yesterday. I know I did a review for beta 7 or beta 6, but now I'm going to do an official review. It's got the bug fixes. Not all of them there still are some bugs in iOS 7, but I'm sure that'll be fixed because I heard that 7.0.1 is going to be released shortly. Probably then, probably within the next few days, weeks, probably more so weeks. Um, but um, I'm just going to run through a couple things. First thing I want to show you is the con control center. Swipe from the bottom of the screen, and you have like quick toggles, flashlight, calculator, clock, camera, do not disturb, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, airplane mode, and then lock your screen from rotating, which is right there. And then also you can adjust your brightness, brightness by that bar there, and your music player is all right in here and you can just turn any of them on by just clicking them they're white when they're on black when they're off and this also works if you're in your lock screen you swipe from the bottom and there it is the flashlight works from here as well as it does once the phone is unlocked which is really cool it makes it really nice if you drop something it's dark out you want to get to it quick you don't have to unlock your phone or go find the flashlight application so this is really nice Okay, let's move on to the notification center, which you have where it says today, all, and missed. Today is pretty much your weather, temperature, the day, uh, and then stocks. Stuff that I don't really need, I don't find it necessary to be there, and probably most people don't use that either. And then all. Always your notifications. I have a few from Twitter, and then a downloader, and then missed is just whatever notifications you missed or if you missed a call or something like that they'll be on this one I don't I usually don't have missed ones as you can see I don't have any now okay let's move on to the new where they move spotlight spotlight used to be if you hit your home button one time it would swipe to the right and spotlight would, search would be over there or you could just swipe over and it was there now you just grab from your screen anywhere except from the top or the bottom and you just swipe downwards Oh swipe downwards and there it is and this one has a different keyboard than the others the other ones are white this is more of a darker keyboard but there is your spotlight and this I th I'm pretty sure now it just lets you search what's in your phone it may bring up some website links but it won't actually do a direct search on the internet for you which I like how it was before I kind of prefer before but everything keeps moving forward technology all that so we're always gonna have something different then the multitasking, everybody should know you get to that by um, double clicking the home button. It shows you all your apps that are running. Okay, so there they are, it's apps that are running. And you can get rid of them by just swiping up with them and sliding them away. Now you can do up to three at a time on here now. Just grab three. There they go, go on. Okay, let's move on to the camera, which it's alright swipe left now it has everything labeled how you get to it swipe right got your video camera swipe left regular camera square camera and then panorama I don't use panorama some people may I don't I don't find it necessary but whatever and there's also airdrop which you can see it here in the control center that's pretty much if you have a friend or a buddy Sit next to you, you want to send them a picture. It's just like Bluetooth on Android for the most part, except for it's just faster. It's faster than sending a message or picture mail or email or anything like that. It's just like Bluetooth. And also, there's um, AirDrop Streaming or Stream something, Stream Play or something like it. It's just like AirDrop, except for you can play your music or something like that on a friend's phone. I find it rather useless if you want to listen to music do it on your phone as most people probably do most people I don't think are going to use the Airstream or whatever it's called but okay whatever let's move on now the wallpapers now watch when I tilt my screen looks kinda of like the wallpaper is moving it's just an effect that it's given to the icons it's not really full 3D or anything like that it just gives it off a 3D effect because the back wallpaper is moving because of the sensor. It allows it to look like that. It's not really moving though, but it will drain your battery and it looks pretty cool. 
it's going to drain your battery because of the movement and just because of how bright the phone is it already dies pretty quick okay so let me show you the different keyboard i was telling you about since spotlights keyboard looks like this here spotlights keyboard and then if you go into your messaging keyboard it'll look like this it's a lot brighter it's pretty much the same keyboard different color for the most part and this is a cool thing i noticed you can do it in few apps not all of them your settings messaging and your email i noticed in them i'm sure there's others <coughs> but if you just swipe from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen it'll take you back to your thread of all the people you've been texting or if you're in your email say you're an aol account you swipe that it's going to take you back to like all your other accounts like gmail yahoo aol they're all going to be right there so that's pretty much all i have for you now guys other than i'm going to give siri a shot and just show you that it does sound a little different it's a woman's voice on mine it could be a man's voice you can change it whatever you prefer i prefer a woman but um, it sounds more like a person instead of so much robotic like before let's give it a shot what's up siri oh it's being stubborn being stubborn being stubborn hi so there you go it sounds somewhat more realistic not a whole lot more mine's a little slow right now but that is the new siri um if you, make sure you're subscribed to me guys because i'm gonna have a video up either shortly today or early tomorrow maybe even late tonight not really sure but it will be up soon uh on a full walkthrough of ios 7 so um, just watch out for that um please like this video if you do like it comment let me know the features you like don't like if you're having any problems i'll try and help if i can and please subscribe thanks for watching guys